Greetings in the precious name of Jesus, the name above every name, that at this name every knee shall bow, whether upon the earth, above the earth, or beneath the earth. This name is above every name. We welcome you to our eighth after Trinity service this Sunday. Father, we thank you so much for the life of Canon Brian Mason of St. Augustine's Parish, Ravuma Diocese, Tanzania. And Father, as we give thanks for his life and his example and all that he did in Africa for the Anglican Church, we praise you as ministry goes on today that in thy glory we move in power and great dominion. Oh, Father, we praise you, we give you glory, and as we hear the strains behind me of let all mortal flesh be silent, we thank you, Father, that we have the victory in Jesus' name. And my wife, Lindsay, at his bedside just before passing, sung a lovely, lovely hymn. My faith looks up to thee. We give Jesus the praise and all the glory. Thank you, Father, for the life of Canon Brian Mason, in the name of Jesus. Oh, we're here today to worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness, by whose stripes we were healed 2,000 years ago. And I read from the collect from the eighth Sunday at the Trinity portion of the Book and Common Prayer, 
We know in addition before 1912, this is written in this precious little book, so much part of the British Constitution. O oh, Father, we praise you and give you all the glory. O oh, God, whose never failing providence ordereth all things both in heaven and earth, we humbly beseech thee to put away from us all hurtful things and to give us those things which be profitable for us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now the reading of the epistle in the precious name above every name, the name of Jesus, from Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. The writing is so little. Let me double check with my magnifying glass. No, Romans chapter 8 and verse 12. Hallelujah. What a chapter this is. Amen. Those who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We give Jesus the praise and all the glory. Brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also glorified together. What a precious reading from the epistle today. If ye walk not after the flesh, there is no condemnation. We are called as a church to walk after the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, to whom we give all glory and praise. Hallelujah. And we walk as he is on this earth. We are the righteousness of Christ in him. And at this time of great sorrow and suffering of this earth, we remember the words in Psalm 91 that for those who are led, there is no condemnation, Romans 8, but the promise of, of Psalm 91, it shall not come nigh thee. Now the reading from the Gospel, from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 7, 15. And here comes the warning. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravening wolves. We've had many of them, let me tell you. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. How appropriate these passages of Scripture are to us today. The importance of hearing from God. 
Attend to my words. They are life unto them that find them. Health to all their flesh. These passages of scripture given to us through this book of common prayer, it's as if they were written today. You know, only last night I saw the spirit of death over this country of Great Britain. So sad a country that once had it trust in God. During World War II, King George VI opened the church doors instead of closing them as over the last two and a half years. So people could gather and pray before God to deliver us from the great threat of fascism. Now we face the great threat of wokeism. One of the same, I believe, for it all is about taking away our freedom. But for those of us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit, there is life in abundance. I have come that ye may have life and life in abundance. And we thank God for the life of Brian Mason. We thank God of all these openings he's opened up for this ministry in Africa. I have said for many years it would be the Africans, the Asians coming back to Great Britain that would change our country. I believe it with all my heart and planting the seed of the word. Brian Mason stood in Africa declaring the Lord's glory. We give Jesus the praise and all the glory and his favorite hymn tune. Let all mortal flesh be silent. Jesus, we give you the praise for this witness in Africa. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Father, too. It was not only Africa, but Asia as well, as we will see from these pictures as we close our program today, 8th after Trinity service. God bless you. We love you. We see you again soon.